wood burner just here, the exposed woodwork. Now you can really tell the width of the property. Now it's approximately 18 foot wide, this house, and a little secret window, which you can stick your head through and look into the kitchen utility, make sure your dinner's all right. Hey everyone, today we are on Clissold Crescent, one of the most desirable locations in the Stoke Newington area. We are just moments away from Clissold Park, but I'm about to show you this stunning five bedroom house, so follow me. So before we head inside the property, I just want to quickly show you the bike lockup that we have here, the bike rack, and also the masonry has just been redone by the current owners. And let's take a look. So the first thing you'll notice when you step inside the property is this spacious hallway with original features such as the Victorian tiling, as you can see on the floor, the coving and ceiling details, which has been maintained and restored by the current owners. Now I'm going to show you the first reception room now, so follow me. So the first thing you notice when you step into this reception room is the wooden double glazed bay window to the front, which allows plenty of light to flow through. We also have the window seat just beneath and cool features such as the fireplace, the book shelving, the original cornicing and rosary, and a little secret window, which you can stick your head through and look into the kitchen utility, make sure your dinner's all right. So before we head down to my favorite part of the house, we're gonna make a quick pit stop at the guest shower room just here. So it's neutral colors. We have the freestanding sink, WC and shower. And now we're heading down to the kitchen diner. But before we enter, I just wanna point out that this is the access to the cellar. So now we're currently in the kitchen diner, which has been fully extended by the current owners. We have such cool features like the wood burner just here, the exposed woodwork, the glass skylights throughout on this side and just beyond on the other side of the kitchen with plenty of light to flow through the property and such a beautiful outlook into the garden. So now I'll show you the actual kitchen area of the property. We have this really cool industrial vibe going on. We've got the metal inspired worktops which flows all the way across and actually looks like it's part of the sink, um, which is really cool. I've not seen this before in any other properties. Plenty of cupboard spaces all along the bottom. And over here we have the Neff double oven. And we have the utility room straight through here with the continuation of the wooden cabinets with the metal silver details. Also you have obviously plumbing for a washing machine, dryer, you've got the sink here as well. And also the window I stuck my head through earlier in the reception room is just here. So it's handy if anyone's gonna be passing you drinks, if you're entertaining or have a party, something like that. So it's actually a perfect day to show off this beautiful garden which the current owners landscape themselves. It's southwest facing, so it's a bit of a sun trap, so positive thing. We have the wooden decking throughout, some astroturf lawn just here, which is low maintenance of course, and these two stone flower beds and a nice little seating area. Now beyond is an allotment, so you get a very green outlook. We'll show you probably a bit better from upstairs, uh, but yeah, nice mature garden. So at the top of the stairs, you're greeted by the family bathroom. And the first thing you'll notice is this bright yellow tiling throughout, which really complements the muted tones in here. Now we have the large sink, the WC, the bath and the waterfall shower head, as well as the handheld shower. Plenty of storage, as you can see behind me. And not one, but two windows, which allow lots of light in, but they're frosted, so don't have to worry about that. So we're entering one of the bedrooms on the first floor now. It's a double room. We have the built-in shelving just here, as well as a built-in storage cupboard just behind me. Now I've got a large double glazed sash window again with a rear view outlook. It allows plenty of light to flow through.
So just a few steps up here and we are in the master bedroom. Now you can really tell the width of the property. Now it's approximately 18 foot wide, this house. Um, you can really clearly see that in this room. We have the wooden double glazed bay window here and the dual aspect window to the other side with the shutters. They are allowing lots of light in this room. So it's really nice and bright. We have the marble fireplace just here, which is a really great feature for the room and the original corner thing throughout. And on the next floor, further up the stairs, we have the smallest room, which is not actually that small. You could definitely get a double bed in here, or this works perfectly as an office, dressing room, whatever you fancy. We have the double glazed sash window here again. And as I mentioned in the garden, beyond the rear garden, we have the allotment, which you can get a really nice green outlook from up here. So again on this floor, we have another good sized double bedroom, very similar to the bedroom I showed you downstairs before the master. We have the built-in shelving just here. Behind me, another built-in cupboard with more shelving and the double glazed sash window with the really nice outlook of the garden and the allotment. And the final stop on this tour is this room above here, which is pretty much identical to the master on the floor beneath. But before we enter, I just want to quickly show you, we've got the storage here and huge amounts of Eve storage just up here as well. And then we have the Velux window behind, which allows plenty of light to flow through on this floor. Now, as I was saying, this is pretty much a mirror image of the master room beneath, except we have stacks of storage, built-in storage that is. In the corner, we've got a large cupboard there. And right the way across this wall, we have the custom made fitted wardrobes. Now we've also got some really cool features in this room like the Victorian feature fireplace, the double glazed windows here with the desk which is excellent if you're working from home and need a really nice outlook. So that brings us to the end of this home tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as I enjoyed making it. If you would like to see more videos from location to location, please like this video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.